If you're here for a quick tip on how to hack the system, you can click off this video now. If on the other hand, you're looking to put in the effort to succeed on the platform, watch until the end to learn how I did it. Hey everyone, my name is Sylvia and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I make a lot of videos about freelancing and social media. So if that's something you're into, don't forget to hit subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my next one. Today, I'm coming at you to talk about how you can get started on Upwork and get your first, second, or a hundredth client. For those of you who are new here, I've been working on Upwork since 2013. And for the past couple of years, most of my clients actually are coming to me rather than me having to search for them. And this can be you too. The first step to succeed on Upwork or any other platform is to get out of your own head and into your client's head. What I mean by this is you need to put yourself in their shoes, find out what they're struggling with and how you can solve that issue for them. You can learn this information through market research. I actually did a video on that. I'll link it down below. And then you can use that information to position yourself as a solution to the problem, both in your profile and in your proposals. Step number two is think quality over quantity. I sound like a broken record, I know, but I can't stress this enough. Sending 10 to 15 to even more copy and paste messages or proposals every single day is not a strategy and it won't get you anywhere. Honestly, clients see too many of these, these copy and pasted generic proposals and they know better. <laughs> than to look at them. They just look past them and into the next freelancer. So what you think may be saving you time because you're essentially copy and pasting the same thing to every job post you find is actually being very counterproductive. Instead, you should do your homework on them. You should read the job post carefully for starters, then try to find out your client's name. And if you can find out their business name, Make sure to Google it, find out their website, learn more about them, and then mention something about either the job post or the client's website in your proposal. You know, as you would do for a normal job interview, or at least I would hope you would do that for a normal job interview, so why not do that for an online one? Essentially, this will give the client the proof that they need to know that you're an actual serious freelancer and that you're actually interested in their job post. And step number three, last but not least, make sure to value your work. Like I said in a recent video, I'll put the link to it in the cards and also in the description. It can be tempting, especially when you're first starting out, to lower your rates in order to get the gigs. That's definitely not sustainable in the long run. And while I always recommend getting started with one or two beta clients at a discounted rate to get those first reviews up on your profile, we'll talk more about next week, so make sure you're subscribed. I don't recommend doing it for an extended period of time. This will not only get you stuck on this loop of charging low rates, it'll also train the clients to expect that rate from other freelancers. So you're actually doing a disservice to yourself and to everyone else in your industry. Trust me, I've done that a lot, so learn from my mistakes. I was actually charging $5 an hour for the longest time. And not only was I hurting my future self, because when I actually started charging fair rates, um, my clients started seeing that I used to charge less and tell me, oh, but I see you charge $5 an hour. Can't you do it for that rate? Which is actually pretty dumb, but whatever. <laughs> but I was also hurting other freelancers without knowing it and that's not okay. So as a recap, if you wanna get started on Upwork in 2022, you need to one, get out of your own head and into your client's head so you can truly understand what moves them into hiring a freelancer. Number two, you need to think quality over quantity always no more copy and paste proposals no more bullshit like that let's start 2022 on a clean slate and make sure every proposal you send is highly personalized and last but not least make sure you value your work 
it's your job to value your work, not your clients, and you don't want to train them the wrong way. So yeah, that was it for today's video. Let me know down in the comments what your biggest struggle with Upwork has been so far. Maybe I can help you out. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my next one. I post every single Friday and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.